that you want. And so you have to really think in those terms. It's all about trends, not the numbers. No one number means anything. It's all about trends analysis. And so whatever technique you're going to use has to really emphasize that. It's about outcomes, not output. Very often, most metrics measure things like number of hours expended. That measures effort. That's not useful. It's not interesting. Because it's got absolutely nothing to do with what value we actually deliver. Measuring the value delivered, measuring the output, measuring what we're actually the outcomes that we have, that's what's really interesting, the outcomes. So what this leads me to is four really fundamental principles that I claim that what I'm going to present to you and discuss has these principles. I want it to be organic. I believe very strongly that if you add any more process onto the existing development process, you're just going to overburden it. People are not going to use it. What you've got to do is you've got to make use of what you already are doing. It has to be organic. It has to arise out of the processes that you're already engaged in. The stuff that I'm going to show you does. It has to be motivated. You need to know exactly what questions you're trying to answer. Too often, metrics grow up from what is easy to count, not what is meaningful to count. <laughs> I've done these myself. And so what we want to do is we want to start with the questions. Let's make sure we're clear about what questions we're trying to answer, and then we'll build metrics to try to eliminate those questions. I want it to be diagnostic. It has to be able to tell you what's wrong. You know, it has to be able to tell you when you're off course and what's going wrong, what caused you to go off course, and what can you do about it. I want to claim that what I'm going to show you actually has that capability, and it's patterns-based. You have to be able to teach this to people. You have to be able to teach them how to interpret these things. In particular, you have to be able to teach your project managers, your technical leads, your customer representative, your customers. Your executive management, everybody has to be able to read these charts. They're going to become the lingua franca for how we know whether this project is healthy. Here are the five key questions I want to ask. And you got kind of a preview of this in the earlier presentation. Is this release on time? You know, one of the great ironies of the way that we do metrics, and one of the criticisms that the Agile world has of it, is that most traditional ways that we do project tracking you don't know until two weeks before you're supposed to deliver that you're not going to make it. You may suspect you're not going to make it, but you don't know you're not going to make it. Do you know why? Can I do a short digression and show you why the traditional ways don't work? Have you heard the Agile principle that says, done is done? Have you heard that principle? A lot of people don't know exactly what that means. I want to explain it.